week long, we have showcased emerging designers with looks that gave us more, more color, more patterns, more feathers, more fun. And our final up and coming designer is Lisa N. Huang. We're about to meet Lisa in just a moment, but here's her story. My name is Lisa Fong and I'm 29 years old. I'm originally from Downey, Los Angeles, but I was raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've always known I went into fashion. As a child, I saw like a Chanel runway show being televised on TV. And I was like, how do I do that? My parents were like, you're not gonna become a fashion designer. I'm like a first generation. So traditionally they're like, you're gonna be a doctor or a lawyer. And I was like, no, I'm gonna be a fashion designer. I've never strayed from it, never wanted to do anything else. I did everything I could to learn about fashion design. I would study all the designer collections as they came out. Even at 14, I went on Craigslist and I was like, fashion internships near me. And I was like, can I intern for you? While I was in college, I was getting very impatient. I'm like, let me just Google how to be part of New York Fashion Week. So what I did was email somebody every single day for my entire summer. Finally, I got a reply and they're like, you have to submit a lookbook in order to be considered. So I made a bunch of looks, I submitted it, and they reviewed my designs and they were like, okay, you got the slot. The aesthetic of my design, I would say, is very feminine and flirty and fun. It also pushes the line of like sexy, but still keeping it pretty classy. I hope to see one of my designs go down the red carpet of the Met Gala because I feel like that's when I have a really, I made it moment. Fashion show of the week featuring the designs from Lisa and Huang. Let's get it started. talented fifth designer, Lisa N. Wong. Congratulations! Yeah. What a beautiful project. I love your story. I love that, you know, your parents saw a different vision for you, but you stuck to your journey and went into designing. 14 years old. Like You're kind of stubborn that I'm way. I'm so stubborn like that. <laughs> I love it. Well, this stubborn little girl has turned into a beautiful designer. Let's start off with the description of what I am wearing right now. Tell us the story of oh, this beautiful. So Cameron's actually wearing a dress from one of my senior thesis collections. So that's the collection you make upon graduating college. This is stunning. The um, dress ended up on a huge magazine cover on a huge K-pop idol and I sent the teacher the magazine. Oh my gosh. Now, you love feminine design, flirty, ruffles. Where does that come from? I think it's just, I really want to accentuate the female form. Oh. And I found that I love to do that during using the material tool. This is that sheer material. Only because it was also like really easy to work with for me personally, because yeah. I was like, this is a cheat, because you don't have to hem every layer. You know, you don't have to hem every layer. See, we would not know that because we're just going to wear it. I'm not going to be making it. But you have created some beautiful things here. Let's get to our first model, Dara. This is actually just stunning. The structure, the bodice. What was the inspiration from this look? 
Honestly, I was just playing on my dress form and I was draping, so that's when you put the material on the form and you form it to the body. And I was like, I used to love painting growing up and I was like, can we make different colors by layering the tool? And I also want to see how much I can make it sheer and get away with it. I'm stressing everybody out backstage with how sheer <laughs> my costumes are right oh, now. I know, and I love yeah. the contrast of the beige and red. Our next model, Marissa Wow. Yeah, yeah. Now, full disclosure, this was the first look they wanted me to, I'm kidding, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could have pulled it off. This is rock star, this is superstar, this is other world here. That's when you can kind of see my pop star background kind of come yeah. in. So once I got to LA, I got to design for a lot of celebrities, including their stage performances. And so I was like, this would look good on a stage. And yeah. that's kind of why this is a little bit different from the rest. I was like, I want something that you feel powerful in and you can like move around. It is fresh, it's rock star. You can see it on a runway, but I could also see people transition that into a brave night on the town. Let me just <laughs> tell you that. All right, next up, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Nikki. Oh, this is so, this again gives me a space age futuristic femininity. What was the process here? What was the inspiration? Actually, it's funny because this one's actually a canceled custom from before the Billboard Music Awards. So wow. a client was actually supposed to wear this on the carpet and last minute she decided to go with something else, which is usually what happens. And yeah. that's how this dress came to happen. Because I normally don't think I would have made something like this. So usually when clients reach out, they have kind of already an idea of what they want. So I always love being challenged in that way and trying to fit their ideas right. with my own existing aesthetic. Absolutely. And so that's how this happened. It's just so beautiful, so beautiful. You know, um, we, we call this our up and coming fashion design and like many of our other designers who are all here today, you have had opportunities to dress big names, but that doesn't define the brand, that doesn't equal success. Mm -hmm. And we've learned that over this series in talking to up and coming designers, you might get a big star to wear your clothing, but you have to learn the business, you have to learn who you're in business with, so many other things. Yeah, we always like to say that visibility does not equal income. Oh. There you have it, visibility does not equal income. I think fashion is just so abstract and that nobody, there's not a straight line to how to get there. So you kind of make all these little roads to get to this end point that you think you're gonna get. And along the way, you kind of forget that you also have to be able to live off of this if you do want to continue. Well, you are doing a beautiful job living off of these great creations. Thank you to our models, Dara, Marissa, Nikki.